Welcome to Metal Vice in 666. I'm on your host, Brian. Join with our other host, Karen. And today is going to be another um, concert poster yep. video. Yep. Uh, the poster we're going to talk about is our, our my Dead and Company. Your Dead and Company. <laughs> uh, show from 2019. So let's go ahead and start the timer. So we only say your Dead and Company because you go to the shows. I do not. Yeah, you, you're not a big deadhead by yeah. any means. I'm not the biggest deadhead either, but enjoy I enjoy the, the shows yeah. a lot. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start the timer. Okay. Uh, as I said, this was 2019. This was my first Dead and Company show that I ever went to. Uh, a coworker of mine, big deadhead, been going to the shows forever, and said, "Hey, I have an extra ticket. Do you want to go?" And I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck it. Why not? Let's go. Let's go check this thing out. I have no idea what what to expect, what to think." I don't think I really listened to the music ahead of time. I think I asked him, like, what albums should I listen to? And his response was, no, don't listen to albums live. Listen to live stuff. Because Dead is very much in the the riffing and, like, they're going to start playing something and it's going to lead somewhere. Like, one track leads into this little jam session that just goes, they don't know where the fuck it's going. It's just reform let's fucking figure out what's going on and then eventually that leads into oh all right now i got you and they'll pick it up and then that leads into the next song and it's this constant flow of music it's so fucking awesome so much fun i enjoy it doesn't sound like you're kind of thing <laughs> um are there me, any drops or bass parts no drops definitely bass parts um Anyways, we're not here to co- talk about the concert. We're here to talk about the poster. We're not. We, we're here to talk about the poster. <laughs> uh, the one last thing I was going to say. Okay. Mastodon is basically the heavy metal version of Dead & Company, in my opinion. Um, I like Mastodon. Same thing. The tempo's a little higher and yeah. faster for you, for sure. But this poster, 20, 2019, uh, June 14th and 15th, at Wrigley Field. My first show at Wrigley Field also. So super fucking stoked for that. Had to get a poster to celebrate. And it's a very cool kind of poster. I really like the imagery of, like, Dead and Company imagery. And like I said, I'm not a big deadhead, but there's a lot of imagery here. Like, the skull in the background. You always see that skull with the lightning bolt. And, you know, like, all right, that's Dead and Company. But then the bear. Cubs are bears. Also, Dead and Company uses bears in their imagery a lot. Out there against the brick wall of Wrigley with the ivy catching the ball. Um, I I don't know. I really enjoyed that. It's kind of cool imagery. Yeah, I like I actually like this poster um, with the imagery of the field and the or like the wall and the ivy and stuff and how they tied in Wrigley Field to because if you don't know Wrigley Field, they, their entire outfield is a brick wall that has at in spring there's nothing on it. It's just a brick wall, but then as the year goes, ivy the ivy fills uh, in. fills in, and then by maybe by now September it's, October it's definitely starting yeah, to die. It starts dying, so then it gets brown and. And dies you, you see the, the vines sitting yeah. on the brick. It's really yeah. cool. And this it is has, really cool. Yeah, and this has both, right? It's the brick and the ivy, sort of like the top brick. Like, I don't know. It's Yeah, it is really cool. Yeah. yeah. I like how they tied it together for the venue. Yeah. The artists here, uh, Mike Dubois. 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 And then AJ Mathis. Mathe. Uh Sorry, I butchered your Mathe. names. Um, really cool art, yeah. though. We're not good at pronunciations. So. Yeah. Got number 600 out of 2450. Quite a few numbers. There's there. quite a few of them, yeah. That's I right. went to only one show. I didn't say this. I went to only one show. It was the 15th, the Saturday show. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So those two dates are for both shows. Uh, only went to one of the two shows for my first time. But yeah, the imagery is really cool. This is also a hologram or a, a foil sort of poster. All of it is foil. Uh, I don't remember if there were multiple posters or just this one. Or if there were multiple, I chose the foil one because I was a big Magic the Gathering player at the time. And foil cards were like the big thing to get. And I really liked foil Magic cards, so I'll get a foil poster. <laughs> Turns out I'm not a fan of the foil posters. I really, that's the one thing I don't like about this is the foil aspect of it. I don't know what you think on terms of the I foil. don't really notice it, so it doesn't bother me. I don't have any thoughts on it, I guess. It's very, like, shiny. I don't know. And that's the whole point of foil. Like, it's shiny and yeah. foily. Yeah. I I found it really hard to pick a frame and pick everything to do. Uh, we ended up going with just a black frame, but this sort of, like, ivy kind of looking frame. And the whole point was to tie it into the ivy. Yeah. 
I don't know if they have a green version of this frame or not. No, I think they only have red and red and black. Red and black, yeah. Okay, yeah. and we went with the we went with the black just because it's that there's definitely red here with like the roses and stuff. Maybe yeah. the red and one the looks inside cool. of the. De- I just thought that because like even the inside of the lettering for Dunning Company is red, so I don't know. Red might have looked cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Know. I can't remember what we tried yeah. or what we didn't try there. But. I mean, even with brick, I was thinking red might have looked cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't we know. can't go back and no, redo we, it. But we I mean, know. I guess you could go back and redo it, but we're not going to. Um, and we did a double mat as well, a white mat, and then this sort of um, tanny sort of. The the point was, it, it looked like leather to me, so oh. I wanted it to be like the glove. Oh, see, when I'm I forgot all that, and when I'm looking at it, I thought it was to tie in the brick. It does tie into the brick for sure. That that sort of tanny. Dusty, not dusty, um, sandy kind of color, uh, tan. I don't know how I just keep saying tan, but yeah. But descriptions uh, are great. Yeah, I was going more for the leather, but even oh, looking okay. at the bear, like the bear has the same sort of yeah. brown look to him. Um, I don't know. It, and the white mat, I really have determined. I don't like white mats. No, no, I we need more color. Don't like this. And the thing is, I didn't know what to do with this. It, it is was hard. Really tough. So this one's really hard to frame, and that's part of the fun that we have with posters is framing them and like coming up with the design. But this one was really hard um, because there are there's so much going on in it to get an idea of what you want to do for the frame. Yeah, I mean, looking at this, I would go a different way. Maybe I'd try the blue to tie in. With, I was just see looking at the, the blue, and we've had this framed for quite a while now I feel like but now like looking back it's like oh well we could have went this way we could have went this way you know but we have to make the decision once yep and this is what we went with but and again I, the foil then adds complexity as well yeah. and I think that's why I don't like the foil aspect of it's just like it's Too so much. hard because even like even when the light shines on it you start getting a rainbow effect of yeah. like what color yeah. you choose and one of the photos has like the rainbow effect at the bottom so yeah um the other thing I wanted to talk about was the frame itself. I really like the frame. I do think it fits really well. Maybe a different color would have been better, yeah. potentially. I don't know. But I think it did get the effect I wanted of sort of the ivy, the viney aspect of the ives. Um, but it is a unique kind of frame where once I understand how this comes. It's a straight line sort of thing, and you had to cut it to dimension and then put it together. Right um, finish my last thought. The... The thing, though, is once you cut it, it's hard then to make those vines sort of, or those little waves sort of fit together just right. In one corner, in the bottom corner here, there you can, you have to, you have to look very closely to see it where it sort of like pops up and it's, you can see that like, oh, this doesn't fit together just right. Um, it does drive me a little nuts when I do see it and look at it. I've but never noticed it. See, you've never noticed it. I, I don't know. I do look at this one a bit, and I do see that, and it's like, oh, fuck, that sucks. I, I don't know if I'd change my decision, though, on frame. Maybe the color, that's the only thing, um, and the mats. That's, I think, the only thing I would change on here, potentially. Yeah. But otherwise, it's it was a good show, good experience. Um, I learned a lot. Mainly, I don't like foil frames. <laughs> or, foil posters. Yes, foil posters. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um if so, there's more concert posters and more shit from us. So if not, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Bye.